Hello, this is Roger again. I'm making this video for Mitch in Australia to demonstrate Tesla's wireless electrical transmission. Uh, here I got a, a vacuum tube Tesla coil. Uh, and here I got just a, a secondary uh, with one end hooked to the ground over there. Uh, and this is just a coil of wire uh, with a top load on it, and it's tuned to resonate, resonate at the exact same frequency as this Tesla coil here. And the, the secondary that's grounded to that side of the building, so presumably uh, the only way energy can transfer from this coil to this coil is the electric field in between them. And you can see we're, we're 10 feet apart here. I'll turn it on and see what happens. And now we're running. Uh, there's a nice smooth top load on here so I don't have any sparks breaking out, but there's a, a high voltage field around that sphere, uh, high, high voltage, high frequency. And if I bring this light in close to it, I, it, it lights up the light bulb. If I get close enough, I get, get sparks to break out. Uh, once I get so far away from it, it goes out completely. Uh, the field dies off to where it no longer lights up. But look, look what happens here. When I get close to this one, it lights up again. In fact, I'm getting about an inch or an inch and a half spark uh, going from my light bulb here. That's pretty amazing. I don't have anything going on here, but when I get here, got all kinds of activity. Now this, this one here isn't hooked to anything. It's just floating in space, but it's the same distance away and nothing at all going on here. So it's pretty amazing that the, the effect, since this thing resonates, it uh, uh, builds up energy and you get, actually get better energy transfer because it is resonating. In fact, uh, it's fairly critical that this thing be tuned to the same frequency as that. Uh, in fact, how close I am to it makes a little bit of a difference. If I change the top load here, put it a little bit out of tune, uh, it still works a little bit, but it's not nearly as strong as it was. Tune is pretty important. Bring you in for a little close up here. Uh, get this thing about an inch away or so. And I See the little sparks coming off there. Uh, yeah, all that even though we're, we're 10 feet away from the Tesla coil, and this thing, this thing's really lighting up here. It's pretty amazing. Okay, this this kind of makes you wonder how how we can have so much energy here. Shocks me a little bit. Uh, when we get out of here, the, nothing going on in here. How, how does this build so much energy? And one, one way to think about it is uh, this is resonating at the same frequency as the Tesla coil. And so when this sphere is positive, this one's negative. And uh, this would be at a certain voltage, a little, a little lower than that, of course. but. Uh, since this one's opposite voltage of that, uh, there will be uh, some c capacitance between them, uh, so there will be a lot more energy flow since, since this actually has live voltage on it than, than something like this that's neutral. So the, the higher the voltage on this gets, wow, that got me that time. <laughs> the the uh, 
the higher this gets, the, the more energy gets transferred. Um, and simply because every, every time that goes positive, this goes negative, and when that goes negative, this goes positive. So uh, it, uh, as this voltage gets higher, more en energy transfers, and the more energy that transfers, the higher the voltage on here gets. Uh, up to a certain point, I guess, and then we get some losses, but uh, uh, that's, that's the general idea. Yeah, there we go. Uh, anyway.